Yo, yo, what's up everyone? So, today I'm going to give you a quick tip on how to uh, get audio and sound visualization into uh, your Unreal Engine projects. So, uh, you can see here I've opened up a third person example project, um, but before we get started and get deep into it, uh, we actually need to make some quick uh, engine changes. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your um, browser, your Explorer, and you're going to go to Program Files. Uh, you're going to go down to Epic Games, Unreal Engine, um, Engine, Config, and then we want Windows. Um, so in your Windows Configuration Settings file, we need to change uh, the audio engine that Unreal is using. So what you can do is just put a semicolon in front of this one. Um, it gives you a little bit of a, a comment right here. So um, we need to uh, uncomment the bottom and comment the top up here. So let's delete that and save that. Close out. And now we can go back into our project. So open that up. All right, so next we need to uh, add the sound visualiz visualization plugin. So go up here to edit, go to plugins, and search for sound. And uh, you'll find sound visualization plugin right here. So enable that, it'll ask you to restart. Just restart real quick, and then we should be set to go to uh, start creating. So um, just give it a, one moment here. All right, cool. So let's get started. So first, uh, we want to add a blueprint cl um, class. So we're going to do an actor, and we're just going to name this like uh, BP underscore audio. All right. Um, next, we want to import our audio file. So let's uh, let's go into let's see. Just find an, an audio file. It needs to be a wave. So make sure you uh, you grab yourself a wave file. Um, <clears throat> so let's see. Grab your file, pull it in. <clears throat> It'll import it in, um, and double click on it, and make sure that we have looping set to true. All right. This will just allow us to uh, continuously loop the audio file. So next, uh, let's go into the actor blueprint. And we want to add a uh, sphere. A sphere, and let's add a cylinder. All right. So we're going to move the cylinder a little over, sphere a little over. <clears throat> and then finally, we want to add an audio component. All right, let's. Uh, Let's get that out of there. There we go. All right. So next, select your audio component and select your um, audio file that you want to use. So uh, we want to do this one. All right. Uh, next, let's go into the event graph. So in the event graph, uh, first thing we want to actually play the audio file. So we come in, um, choose our audio component, drag it out into the event graph. And uh, we can just pull off of it, type play. And that should allow us to uh, play on um, start. So we don't need those. We can remove them. Uh, next, we want to uh, go into select our audio component here, come down to the bottom, and select. Uh, we've got here on audio single envelope value. So Select that one, come back in, and let's do uh, let's do let's do audio playback percent. All right, cool. So um, let's first just check, make sure we have some audio playing. Um, put that up there. 
So what we can do, drag this in, put it up, press play. Next, uh, let's go into our blueprint again. Um, go back into the event graph and let's actually look at some of these values that we're getting out. So if you right click here on your envelope value, do watch value, and then come back here and do playback percent, we can uh, look at the values that we're receiving, make sure that's all good. So. So let's start with uh, just affecting um, something in our scene with uh, with these values. So this audio single envelope value, what this does is actually takes the peak um, of the wave and gets that value and sends it back. So I want to change the uh, scale of the sphere. So let's uh, drag the sphere out. We can drag, uh, we can type relative scale. We want to set relative scale 3D. All right, could bring that in there. And then we want to drag this out. I'm gonna multiply it by, uh, let's say 10. Cool. And then drag that in there. And we will, uh, let's try that out. Next, um, let's go back into the event graph here and let's make our cylinder um, actually change size based on the percentage we are through the song. So let's set the uh, relative scale again. We're gonna break this, split that struct, structure. Um, okay, and we want to get our percentage and just plug it in for, uh, actually we want to, let's multiply this by Mm -hmm. uh, five maybe, yeah, let's do five. Plug that into our scale. Let's make sure this is set to one, one, enter. Cool, let's try that out. Finally, let's see if we can get some uh, frequency uh, set up here. So um, what you want to do is right click, type frequency, and click this calculate frequency spectrum. And <clears throat> we can pull this down, um, connect that up. Let's select our sound asset that we're using. So we're doing this guy here. All right, and we want to set our time length to something like 0 0.08, uh, something like that. And then finally, uh, start time. Let's drag off this playback percent. Um, let's actually, let's just get our, our game time right now. So if you type game time in seconds, All right, and we can put that here, at start time, and that'll just sort of tell us when to start. So um, let's also watch this, and then we can see that there's actually some values coming out. So I'll save, and we put this. I forgot to add here in the spectrum width, make sure you set this to, uh, anything greater than zero, otherwise it won't output anything. So if you put 10, it'll break the frequency spectrum into 10 equal bands. Um, whatever number you, you put it to, it will separate that out. So um, I'll put it at 10. Let's try that now. Let me compile, save there. Good time. 
frames seconds, time length, spectrum. I've actually already made a project uh, within here with some of this on. So uh, I'll just show you some interesting stuff that you can do, say, with that uh, frequency data. So I'm going to delete this, come here into my audio vis, and we can just pull this in. And so uh, first, let's take a look at uh, what's going on. So if I press play, actually happening is so here um, I am just going through doing the same thing with this play setting um, and then creating some uh, creating an array of cubes um, I will I'll include all of this um, I'll include these files uh, in the description below so if you want to download it um, go for it but I'm not going to explain everything here because um, it's just sort of using the data in, in, uh, in whatever way you want. So um, what I'm doing, though, is I'm taking my uh, frequency spectrum data. So this is the same thing that we had here. Uh, calculate frequency spectrum, same thing. And we're going through and setting the scale of all of our um, individual cubes. Um, so in the end, you achieve a really cool you can even do a little bit more, have a little bit more fun, and you know, put the simulate, for instance, uh, simulate physics. So this will simulate physics for um, those things. We can also select these two and put simulate physics, and uh, should have something pretty fun. Also come down. I've, I've set a variable for uh, how many cubes I want, so we can just go in here, say type uh, let's do 50. All right. Well, that's sort of it. Um, if you're interested in more, what's going on here? Uh, feel free to download the um, download the blueprint which is um, included in the uh, description below and uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, yeah thanks for watching